All right, so we'll just do a quick little review here. So we have our light plot with all of our information that's out here. Um, and um, we also have a channel hookup and instrument schedule. And between these three documents, it's easy to find any information that we need. If we were to go to uh, uh, unit number one of our first electric, we can find that on our instrument schedule really fast to get any information we need from it. Additionally, that's in channel number one, and we can find that information as channel number one on our channel hookup. If we're trying to find information about channel number 10, we can just read across and we can see that that's on the stage right boom number one. And now we just have to look around until we find our stage right boom unit number one. And then we can see all of the other information. So these three documents all work hand in hand to be able to get the information that we need. Now again, these are technical drawings. To present any of this information in a design presentation doesn't give us any idea about what the show is going to look like once we're all done, right? In order to do that, we have to be in the space with all of our lights focused. This is a little 3D model of the light lab and the light plot that we've been looking at. You can see that I have channel number one turned on and it's aimed at our little figure. And I also have, I think this is channel 20, uh, no, this would be channel 14 turned on, which is this yellow backlight that falls across our figure. But it's once we're in the space that we're able to make um, art. Now, light plots can get really big. This is the Newsies plot for um, Florida State 2021. And this is just the stage plot. There are five other drawings that um, um, are needed to complete this um, lighting design. But you can see there's a whole lot of information here. And the thing I would like to note is that the building is drawn. If you'll note that this is the spiral staircase that goes up to the um, loading rail and the mid rail. And this is that spiral staircase. This is the back hallway and doors that lead to the dressing rooms in the back. This is the pipe rack where everything is stored. This is the big door that leads to the um, wagon room, to the wagon house, whatever it's called, the loading area, right? The proscenium opening is also listed, right? So you can see that the proscenium opening is across here and the curved coves that form our proscenium arch and the edge of the stage. So all of the building architecture is here. In addition to the building architecture, the scenery and the masking is listed. So these little wavy lines that run across, these denote borders, right? And the short little wavy lines behind that are the legs. And they are all hung from battens that fly in and out. And all of the battens and all of their purposes are listed on this side over here where the fly rail is. Now the important part of the drawing then is is actually the lighting and you can see the lighting positions are all drawn there are pipes across here with all these symbols let's zoom in and take a look at some of the um, lighting parts that are here in our title block we have the name of the show we have the creative team the director the musical director scenic design costume design and since it's the light plot I've included my logo right the theater that it's being performed in, whether it's in the Fallon or the Lab Theater, the school's logo, right, is all listed here in the title block. Below the title block is the legend, and these are all the symbols for the various lights that are used. And so as you go across and look and find a symbol, this symbol right here with a little diamond in the front of it, if we come and look down our list over here we'll find that outline with the little diamond in the front and know that that's a source for ERS 50 degree at 575 watts and so each one of these um, symbols are listed over here so that we know to put the correct light in the correct place then at the very bottom of the drawing is um, the um, is the scale and the drafts person or who drew it right so it's drawn by me those are my initials the scale is one half inch equals one foot 
um, the date that it was drawn, the version, and then the title of this particular page. Again, there are five pages or plates that make up the entirety of this design. So that's an overview of light plots and supporting information, and we'll see you again soon.